last time on Persona 5 Royal. I have a torturous burning deep inside me. I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, what is about a student council president? We need to talk to you. Get over here now. You get my number, Caroline. You say you can stop it. No breaks. Work that jaw. But indigestion. President, what is the meaning of that posting? Principal Kobayakawa put that up without my... Oh. Sounds like the principal's trying to get info on the students. It's probably because of Mr. Kamashita, right? Considering what happened with Suzuki-san. Why are you talking about Shiho, bro? That's what he gets for being a no-neck fat ass. Principal Kobayakawa, why did you post that notice? It was all for your sake. It was... Bro, is you dumb? Is you dumb, my guy? In today's episode, we hang out with the gang and we go see Kasumi and we also go to the TV station and field trip because it's cooler down with that. Everybody sit back, relax, get ready, because here we go. Uh, look, hey, who's slid on my DMs? Oh, this is a tough one. Hang out with Takemi. We check with Yusuke or... You know what? I'm going to go with Kasumi. Why not? Senpai, do you have time today? I was thinking we make a good on our deal. No time like the present, right? You can start hammering those basics into you anytime. This will be a good opportunity to go with Yoshizawa. You want to go see so Yoshizawa? Yes, I do, Morgana, because she's mine, okay? She's she's mine. Then how about we go into Inkashira Park? Uh, oh, sorry. I never know when this phone actually starts working. Anyways, Inkashira Park then. I'll see you there. Oh, not bad. Not bad. You're actually pretty flexible. You catch on so quick. At this rate, you'll have the fundamentals down in a heartbeat. Ugh, my body's aching from those mimicking Kasumi poses. Oh, God. It's all about the harmony between the external and external keep muscles. I can't get enough of it. Oh, go go easy on me. I thought it was my training, coach training, ten times harder than this, after all. Well, I'll keep supporting you. You just have to keep it to get together. I stretch with Kasumi. <sighs> I think there's enough stretching for for now. Good effort, senpai. Uh, I'll let to continue our training, but I'm actually not been doing so great at the moment. I'm not sure I can manage anything too strenuous. You doing okay? Well, I'm not sick or anything. Physically, I'm doing fine. Shit. I was thinking... Do you remember how I wanted to talk to you about something? Well, I feel like I've been stuck in this slump. No matter how much I practice, I can't get any better. So I went to my coach about it, but she told me to take some time off from gymnastics. So according to her, I need to think about who I really am. But n the idea is not to stop doing gymnastics, but she just wants me to take a break. So now? I never had an issue at that practice could have solved. But I have no idea what to do, so I want you to help me. Even if we're not doing genexus, will you still keep going out with me? What do you mean by will you keep going out with me? I mean, it depends, baby girl. I mean, <laughs> Atlas, are you reading my mind right now? Because I know you just not put that option there. Like, you know what? No problem. No problem. Thank you so much. Uh, really? Uh, uh, thank you. I heard my coach keeps phrasing me. She says, Kisimi is the greatest weapon that always has been her boldness. Honestly, that used to be true. I was totally fearless and confident, and gymnastics was a fun challenge. But ever since I started high school, I've been in a slump, and I got taller for one. And there were some other complications. I can't even move how I want anymore. It's like I'm not even in my own body. So I fell into this depression and I it kind of, it kind of got pretty bad but when you helped me in Shibuya something occurred to me I saw how fearless and how confident you are I know you were one, one, the right one for the job so if I stick to you I think I can learn how to be confident again then follow my lead yes. uh, uh, great I'll, I'll try to thank you so much <laughs> you're a strange one senpai I didn't think you'll accept. <laughs> well, I'll try and return the favor through our deal. Like a sense of sense of appreciation from Kasumi. All right, rank two. Ooh, troubling. Allows you to avoid being surrounded by enemies in the palace. Oh, that's gonna come in clutch. If a shadow attacks you 
when you head into a palace, you'll be able to avoid being surrounded by the enemies and turning the situation into a normal encounter or an ambush. Oh, that's gonna be clutch. I won't lie. That is going to be clutch. Oh, it, it, excuse me. Uh, I should get going. I have a meeting with my coach. I need to get going for today. I'll be sure you'll never regret this. All right. Bye, Kasumi. I love you, baby girl. Um, <coughs> thanks to Kasumi's straining, I feel like my stamina has increased. Your max HP has increased by five. Kasumi rushed off in the distance. I should gather my stuff and my belongings and head home. She's so cute. I, I, I don't care. Thank you very much for joining me today, senpai. Are you feeling sore after all that? You play stress on muscles that you don't use very often. So please remember to massage them out before you sleep. So, but I'm glad that you set the mic request. I'm so relieved that I got so hungry. Then all of a sudden my stomach wouldn't stop growling in my meeting. Um, gotta push through it? Uh, I know. My coach doesn't want know where the growling is coming from. I plan to prioritize my physical shape until the competition is over. I hope you can help me next time, Senpai. I'll be reaching out again soon. Controller. No, 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 Are you really no, going to do no, this this no, episode? No, I'm not afraid to throw you out the fucking no, window. No, no. Well, I'll be talking talking to you soon. Alright, and we're back home. Yeah, I'm back, Sergio. Alright, you know we're going to head to the TV station tomorrow, right? I'm thinking we might find our next target there. Oh, that's right. You're always hearing gospel about the dark sides of celebrities. You're absolutely right. With that much money, you probably get their fingers in all sorts of dirty business. Hmm. That phrasing is quite an immoral ring to it. Dude, you always react to the read this stuff, bro. Anyway, we got we get to observe a live recording of a show, right? Oh, maybe we're gonna be on TV. Remember, we'll just be in a crowd. Any TV appearance will be like two seconds. Uh, do not try to pull anything. I can't even pronounce that. Pull any stuns to garner attention, okay? Yep, copy that. Oh, wh wait, what are you two doing here? How you been getting a lot of spam mail lately? How are they getting my information? Remember the cyber attack? Tens of thousands of people' personal information was leaked. All right, I heard I heard about those hackers, but huh, I hear they've been causing cause of damage around the world. They act like they're finding an unjust system. It's still a problem, just like us people. Thank you. The curry was delicious. Yeah, get on, get on, get the frick out of my shop. Oh, right. you can go ahead and use that to study. Oh, I don't have that much time for studying once you get into the world. So study where you can. You know what? I'm gonna study. All right, I'm gonna head up. Clean up the place once you're done. All right. All right. The other day I saw on TV. Oh. I didn't mean to quite distract you. I'll stay quiet. Yeah, I'm studying, motherfucker. Huh. You're making some good prizes. I can see the wisdom in your eyes behind those glasses. Well, thank you. You know, we gotta increase our knowledge and all that. You'll tire yourself out if you keep at it for too long. You should stop for it today and get some sleep. And anyways, that's why we recruit sponsorships to make help these TV shows. Sure you know about commercial breaks? Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. Uh-huh. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding. And... Huh. Everybody knows that. Wow. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Uh-huh. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Yeah. Let's get any more obvious. Hmm. Easy to understand. Yeah, it's pretty easy to understand. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. Mm -hmm. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. 
Yeah. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear I'm not gonna fast. Oh, shut up, nigga. Damn! Itch! What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, asshole. My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Uh-huh. Time for hands up his beans, my ass. That jerk think he is? Yeah, for real. Hey there. You wanna be on TV? <laughs> Who the hell is you, my nigga? Huh? You got hey, a yo, what the that fuck? Uh, I'm on a school trip. <laughs> yeah, you fucking pervert. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Fuck no, baby. Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Yeah, for real. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? Yeah, do they? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Yeah, for real. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand your bored. Please don't cause any trouble, okay? Oh, where did you come from, Kyle Kami? Like, honestly, where did you come from? Uh, well, then, uh, let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. Um, no. Cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. Mm hmm. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. No, he doesn't. Next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Bruh, you're making me do this. Why? You're making me do this. Why? Damn it. This sucks. Oh, what a pain in the ass. <laughs> uh, we fought valiantly against the long cables. I mean, I don't know. They just tell us to do it, but <laughs> shit. Ryuji, I know what post nut clarity feels like. Okay. Quiet down, will you? Yeah, exactly. I get how you feel, though. It sucks for the both of us. Uh, well, we gotta do one tomorrow too. No flaking out, Ryuji. Yeah, for real. Yep, I guess so. And that reminds me, we get to go home straight from here today. Mm hmm. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place. I want to go to the huge pancake looking place we passed on the way here. Oh. I think it was some kind of pancake shop, Bargana. You mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. Oh! Alright, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. But you're a cat. doesn't really prove any kind of courage. Uh, yeah, she's not wrong. Yeah, for real. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. <laughs> Hell yeah, Betty. <laughs> well, you better, Morgana. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Who the hell are you, nigga? Hmm. Oh 
only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Uh huh. Why, why, why did you just? Hmm. I don't know, bro. This nigga really seems sus. Okay, goodbye, Akachi. Uh huh. So you're going to go have cake now? Where are you listening not to our conversation? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. Ye Yo. Cake? What are you talking about? Is this nigga sus? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. Uh, goodbye, but you're sus, nigga. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep, let's go. Uh, Shiribashi. Uh, I don't think so, Morgana. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. <laughs> this is why I spoke against it. Dude, use your childhood as an excuse. Are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? <laughs> Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. Well, yeah, true, true. We do. At that freaking studio again, but whatever. Well, then. Right. You're gonna film us at the TV station tomorrow, right? Try not to stand too much out. That's Ryuji's thing. I mean, then again, Ryuji's the cocky one. I mean, that's just kind of how it is in every group of heroes. We always have that one cocky motherfucker. I feel like I should go see that movie again. Because why not? Yeah, go see the Cake Night Rises. Yeah, let's go. Because why not? All right, the movie's about to start. Let's grab a seat. Who bakes for money, nigga? <laughs> you bitch ass motherfucker. Somehow I feel touched by the protagonist's passion. I feel like I was able to learn how to be compassionate to others. And we get one point of kindness. I mean, hey, that's how we do it, baby. And we watch even to the very end, even after the credits. Alright, let's go home. Yeah, why not? All right, all right. Go, time to film once again. Uh, to, he looks exactly like him. So yes. I mean, sure. That would be the scandal involving the master artist Matarame. 
Uh-huh. All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi Kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Ah! Oh, hey! Hey! I hope he's on our side. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real. I may not Ooh. seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Hey, same here too, brother. Hey, if you if you're on our side, you're valid, my nigga. Although if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. Literally hit the point. Well, I don't know what you mean by that. But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. You should kill yourself now. What the fuck did you just say, nigga? That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? No. Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. Right? However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. Keep our names out your fucking mouth! <laughs> I lost connection. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Right. Amazing as always, Akechi Kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. Sir, that's kind of gay. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then. Let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi Kun about the Phantom Thieves. Okay. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do. Yeah, of course they do. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi Kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. Yeah, it shouldn't. Well, it shouldn't be a prize because we do exist, nigga. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. <sighs> Why are you coming up? Why are you coming up to me? Let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? They do more than the cops. completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, akechi -kun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. It's all because it's fucking true! In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. Okay. Ask it, nigga. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? Only target criminals, though. They only target criminals. But how can you be so sure? Whether I am sure. Actions are good or not. I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Nope, he's capping. Stop the cap. Please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. But it will be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. No, the fuck it won't! To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. Why, you mad because you lost the argument now? It kinda seemed like what he was-
was saying might be right. Nope. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. Yeah, for real. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? I think so. Whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Yeah. You don't need to listen to that nigga. He's capping. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Yep. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Well, keep going on. Oh, it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. Uh huh. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. To be honest, Akechi, I have no clue what the fuck you just said. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Mm -hmm. People around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Because they're a bunch of bitches. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do is the adults say. I mean, you, you ain't, okay, I'll give you that one. You're not wrong. I'll give you that one. Irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, cause they Yeah, cause they're taking out shitty, corrupt the dots. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. Mm-hmm. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second. Nah, we will beat that nigga ass, right? We fight to the end. We will beat that nigga's ass, nigga. <laughs> oh, it's true, nigga. You really are intriguing. I bet you make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. I mean, there's no debate. You already lost the argument, but okay. Will do, I guess. I would love to. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. Mm -hmm. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <sighs> I mean... You 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 kind of, you are kind of sus, my nigga. But hey, I fuck with you. It seems Detective Akechi has taken a liking to me. Oh boy, oh boy, we got more sigh. Oh boy. Oh boy, sigh, sigh, sigh. Uh-huh. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Um Explain yourself. No, cuz I'm not a snitch. <clears throat> I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast to cry a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that break the things of captivity. With the birth of the justice persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to new freedom and new power. Hey, I said the whole thing, yes sir, yes sir. All right, the justice arcana. Go Akechi is our new confidant. And I don't think we get nothing out of that, but Hey, I'll take it. Yes. We should exchange contact info. Uh huh. And registered. Okay. Well, I hope to see you again sometime soon. I howl at me, bitch. Now get the fuck out of my face, bitch ass nigga. Detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, cause that but yeah, because this nigga seems sus. I ain't gonna lie. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> I can't stand that high and attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. 
Yeah, for real. Come on, let's go. Uh, what a boring field trip. Do we even find worthwhile targets? Nope. That a catchy bastard thinking about what he says just pisses me off again. He's tr clearly trying to discredit everything we're doing. You just had to say it on live TV too. Don't be so sour. There are rather a lot of doubt people we have saved. Those people could not have been saved or were for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. I'm the living proof of that. Oh, what a nice thing to say. Still, what? It was what a catchy coon said actually wrong. Yes, I feel like you had a fair point. Why you gotta bring this up now? I mean, is it really okay to be doing this to people just because they're criminals? Does this seem a little selfish? You are the Phantom Thieves on. I doubt anybody will forgive us for what we did to Madarame. I still s decided that it was a necessary act. Thomas Yuta too. We weren't going to do shit to him through any kind of normal methods. True, but... What do you think? Are we being selfish? We are helping people. Okay? Fuck what Akechi said, okay? I guess we can't really think any of it any other way. Hmm. I believe our best path forward is to stick to justice, not of that of the law. That shouldn't be enough, right? With the... Unanimous rule this in the place. I doubt we'll lose our way. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for bringing that up Anyway, I'm not thinking of quitting on the fan of things or anything Just you watch catchy Someday you're gonna see who's was right. All right. Let's not talk about this anymore <laughs> Mm-hmm Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking. God, I'm furious. You heard what Akechi Kun said, right? How dare he declare Phantom Thieves as criminals? As the administrator of the Phantom Fish United website, I can't stay quiet about this. I'm going to show how Akechi how people really feel online. I'll change up the survey question tomorrow morning. Justice is the best. Justice with, with the Phantom Thieves. Keep doing on your what you do best. I don't know. Redditors, man. Mm-hmm. I guess so. I mean, whatever. You do you, Mishima. I mean, I, I wish I can judge you, but at the same time, I fucking can't. I feel like batting today. Hey, even though my job's at a baseball stadium. Hey, welcome. I play a night. It costs about 500 yen to play. Yep, why not? Ooh. Let's go in immediate. It seems very difficult. If you hit three home runs, you get a free play ticket. Best of luck to you. Boom. Okay. Ooh. I timed that perfectly. Not a back section. Not a bad section. Give it a try? Uh, you would like to keep playing? Ah, uh, that's enough for now. Nice going. I mean, hey, at least we got two hits in. And that increases my proficiency. Yes, sir. Alright. We'll be sent we'll be set in the maintenance in July. So alright. Yep, let's go home. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> I would not be good at baseball in real life. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I did used to play it like backyard baseball. Backyard baseball and backyard football was so different to compared to what we typically get in high school and college. Our range just went up two per, two percent. Did you catch any of the student detectives on television yesterday? On that talk show, it was simply dreadful. How can someone seriously suggest supernatural beings stealing hearts? This child is a phony. There's simply no way that the Phantom Tees exist. <sighs> My precious children are all think they're real and worse. 
That detective is amazing. Children are far too impressionable to see such vulgar content on TV. Looks like people still think we're not real. Well, they're not real. They're a bunch of fake ass hoes. Like, what the fuck? I can't believe we were on TV yesterday with a catchy coon. It was like a dream come true. Alright, can we stop meat writing this nigga, please? Uh, I can't believe a high schooler moves like a detective. He's like the detective prince. He's so smart. He's so handsome. He's almost too perfect. Uh, we have found row seats too. I could probably reach him and touch a catchy coon when I was so nervous. He was really working that uniform. He seemed like a he didn't uh, sing as like a snob, a natural at public speaking. I heard he was an orphan who grew up poor. I guess what makes him part is I think that's part of what makes him amazing. He wants his last high school remembered by capturing the Phantom Thieves. This is a game to him. I heard his dad is some the head of some by natural government right? I don't know. I will I will say I love that he hates the media, believe me. He doesn't want to do this f for fame. People say he's so good he made enemies in the police force. Oh yeah, apparently yesterday's enemy was so popular, they're gonna air it again tonight. Damn, can we stop meat running this nigga? Like damn! Yeah. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Yep. Oh, shut up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> being way too loud. Says the one that's stuffing their face in. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. Yeah, that is true. Mm. <laughs> Just ate the last one. Damn. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. There is Makoto. And there's also Makoto. We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. Yeah, for real. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, caught you in 20k HDR 1200 FPS Super Nintendo. I Makoto. You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? Um. You said before we don't know nothing. Yeah, for real. Why do you think I'm here to question you? What? What do you want, Makoto? Could it be that you're hiding something? No. They really just not, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm. <laughs> damn, man. I mean, I would like to see a cat fight, but, you know. What's that supposed to mean? Your student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? E Might as well answer that question now. Nigga, huh? Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? And how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help. By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. This is that this is what we'll be saying this entire episode. You gotta be more dependable than some people I know. <laughs> Cops. Just make sure you show up to your classes, alright? 
Mm hmm. Stop following me. You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Yep. Hell yeah. It's about time we find our next target, too. If only I could. If only if I could, huh? Okay. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. It's probably because of catching. TV's got some crazy sway. Yeah. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. So he's basically. So yeah, you yeah, we both seen it firsthand. The nigga's biased, okay? Just when we were starting to get people to believe in us too. Mm-hmm. All we gotta do is take down another hot shot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hot shot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Yeah. Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. We're not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's. I mean, Aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents like you. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. <laughs> and are you trying to do? I ain't trying to do you, Ske. Don't 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 act like y'all been there, man. Um What about Yuji's place? It's way too small. Plus my mom never agreed to it. Oh. Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Morgana Yes. Not too far, is it? No. Nope. And the cafe is only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? I mean, I guess Sergio's gonna make the gang. Okay. Party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Mm-hmm. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke too. All right, it's decided. Okay. Are you good, man? By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. Okay. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. I guess so. Shut the fuck up, Morgana. What a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. Can't say I hate it though. People refer to that as retro. Mm. Who are they? These are my friends. Hello. A girl too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. Yep. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Yes, sir. Hey. Of course you gotta make me help, Dad. You know you're not really my dad, but whatever. It's delicious. Mm, indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh yeah, I remember now. I think I've seen the blonde mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Yeah. 
For real? Oh, give me a taste. <laughs> wow, Yuji. Slow down, my guy. Yep. Go on and take him up to your room. No need to stay down here. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I wanna see. It's nothing special. It's only an attic. Exactly. Oh man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh thanks for the soda. So you're a. Uh... An. An Takamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? <laughs> Never have either. Damn! Hey, you gotta get up here. This place is freaking insane. Go on. Right. Thank you for the coffee. <laughs> Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Hmm. Sweet girl. I mean, yeah, Ana is pretty sweet, but she's a fr think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh. See? I ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. Yeah, y'all y'all think this shit would be dirty? What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Damn, really? Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing and Ketsy's fault! Shh! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our right ways known to society. Time we think about our next move. Mm -hmm. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yep. Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just going to stumble upon some important target, though. Mm -hmm. You guys don't know anyone, do you? Nope. I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? Um... What about the news? Well, there probably are a lot of famous targets on TV. However, the suspects on the news are already being pursued by the police. Even if we make them confess their crimes, the police will take the credit. That won't do. Damn it. Never gonna prove a kid you wrong at this rate. I mean, I guess we gotta lay Lou. since yesterday and you spent all your money on that box of sweets dude how much did you have yeah how much? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target so mementos how about that welcome party someone's excited <laughs> i think i found something isn't that a portable stove can't we make hot pot on it? Hmm. That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. Yep. So, what do you say? Fine by me. Let's do it. 
Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... Well, we'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? Yeah. We'll split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Yep. That's going to do it for this episode of Persona 5 Royal, guys. If you guys did enjoy this episode, y'all already know what to do. Be sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe with all notifications on you if you're new. I'm hoping to hit 1,000 subscribers this year. If not, definitely next year. Hey, if we can reach 1,000 subs, we can definitely eventually reach 15 million subscribers. I am manifesting it, and I think you should too. This is your boy, Tavor Shepherd Place, and I'm peace out. Catch you guys later. Stay positive, my friends. Peace.